Alright guys, we're back with another whiteboard and today we're going to talk about building out your sets because this has come up a bit now. We've got a few emails from people about how to build out your sets, what type of style of training is the best, and how to kind of set up your sets for each exercise. So I want to go through it today. We're going to try and make it quick so it's not a super long video. And I'm just going to kind of go through all the different types of training I've done. Now this is kind of my style and my tweak on different things. So there, this isn't the only styles of training and there are probably a million others that you can reference, but I'm just going to give you the ones I've done and kind of how I set them up in my workouts. Maybe that'll help you guys with yours. Okay, so we're going to start with, we're just going to get right to it. We're going to start with straight sets. The straight sets are very straightforward, okay? It's just, what I have here is a list of numbers. These are the sets, set one, two, three, four, okay? Your straight sets are gonna be very even, and that's all it is. 10 reps, 10 reps, 10 reps, 10 reps. Now it doesn't have to be 10 reps, could be eight, could be six, whatever you decide, but it's gonna be straight sets. So basically it means it's gonna be the same rep range every time. And your weights probably won't increase. Usually straight sets refers to, I'm doing, let's say I'm gonna lay down on the bench and do two plates and I'm gonna do 10 reps. I'm gonna do two plates for all of those. I wouldn't do that, but that's just an example, okay? so. That's what straight sets are. Now when you do straight sets, usually it's a shorter rest period, usually it's for smaller muscle groups, and usually it's for isolation exercises. That's how I classify them. If you, if you talk to Jay Cutler, for example, he'll tell you it's different. Jay Cutler, for example, will use straight sets on everything. Um, for me, straight sets are more for smaller muscle groups. I'll use them when I do biceps and triceps, for example. I don't feel like I need to do a pyramid style, or which we'll get into, or a heavier style of training because I've learned that the smaller muscle groups like biceps and triceps usually respond better to a moderate weight, shorter rest periods, more focus, and more of kind of a pump style workout, which is kind of what I'm referencing here when I say straight sets in the 8, 10, 12 rep range, even 15, okay? So you're not going to really do anything different here. You're just going to set the weight that you want to start with. If I'm doing bicep curls, I might grab 40 pound dumbbells and I'm going to knock out 10 to 12. I'm going to rest 30 seconds, 45 seconds. I'm going to jump in and do it again. I'm going to do three or four sets of those and that's that exercise. I'm going to move on to the next thing. So that's it. Very simple, very straightforward. And then it starts to get a little more complex. So when we get into pyramid sets, which is kind of how I've trained predominantly most of my career. Okay. For pyramid sets, we got set one, two, three, four. Now, what is set one, two, three, four? <clears throat> set one is going to be a warm up where we do 15 reps. And the thing is, with straight sets, you see, is the weight stayed the same the whole way through. With pyramid sets, your weight is going to increase with each set. So, first set is a warm up, 15 reps. We're going to add a little bit of weight, and then we're going to go second set, 12 reps. We're going to add a little bit of weight, third set, 10 reps, we're gonna add more weight, and the last set is gonna be your failure set when you do six to eight. Now these are arbitrary numbers. You can set up your pyramid in a different way. You could do 40 for your warm up, you know, 20 for your second set, 10 and then five. These are my, this is my style, right? This is how I did it, but you can set up the numbers that you want to. For this, for pyramid style training, my rep range, my rest period is probably gonna be in a moderate range, okay? So usually, I rest 45 to 60 seconds, maybe 75 seconds, and then I'm back at it. Um, for pyramid style training, I can do all muscle groups. Okay, I've done this style with everything from quads to biceps, it doesn't matter. You can do that whole, that pyramid style where you increase weight on each set, all across the board. And it works for all exercises, whether you're squatting or whether you're doing like a really fine isolation movement, you can still do that thing, okay? So this to me is my most comfortable way of training made the most sense to me kind of gives you a chance now this is set one as a warm-up you're just kind of getting blood flowing set two is a kind of a I call it a working warm-up or a feeder set which is you're getting a blood flowing but you're gonna feel the muscle work a little bit set number three is what I call a working set so it's gonna be hard but not you're not you're gonna stop short of failure so you may do let's say we do a bench press for example okay one plate two plates Three plates here, 315, I'm gonna do it for, let's say, 10 reps. I might be able to get 15, but I'm gonna stop at 10. But that's a working set. And then in my fourth set is gonna be my failure set. Okay, so failure is gonna be six to eight for me. I usually, that's where I set it. I might go to 405, 
six reps, and that's going to be the very the, the final thing I can do. Now, if you talk about beyond failure, when you talk about beyond failure, now you're talking about getting a spotter from a partner or doing a drop set or something like that. And then there's also, you know, number five here. Number five could be uh, back off. Number five could be your back off set. So some people will do warm up, working warm up, uh, working set, failure set, and then a back off set. And then that back off set, what they'll do is they'll go from 405 back to 315 or even back to 225 and get more reps and a better feel out of it and more pump, more blood into that muscle. Okay, from there, <clears throat> from there we go to, from there we go to failure sets. Okay, so this is predominantly when you do a failure, when, when I say failure sets, I'm saying that it's kind of like a, a low volume approach, even though there's more sets than you think, but we're gonna keep the reps really low because we're just getting acclimated. The entire thing, this entire process is based around your failure set, okay? so. This is kind of like a, a JP style training or a Dante Trudel style training where this is how they set it up. They'll go, set number one is a warm up. Okay, 15 reps, 20 reps, whatever it takes to kind of warm the muscle. Set number two, this is just a feeder. So if we go back to our bench press, um, our bench press sample, we'll say, okay, this is warm up. Your feeder, or what I call working warm ups or feeders, are just to get the body acclimated to more weight. So if I'm doing bench press, I'm gonna do one plate, two plates, but I'm only gonna do three to five reps. Three to five reps, I feel the weight, I know what it feels like, I'm gonna move on. So I go to set number three, three to five reps, same thing, I got 315 on the bar. Okay, one, two, three, I know what it feels like, I'm gonna move on. Now, I'm acclimated, I got the weight, my body feels right, I'm warmed up, I'm gonna to go to failure. I didn't write a number here because failure is what you decide. If you're doing like a strength program, failure might be five reps. You're going to do whatever you can do, the heaviest weight you could possibly do for five reps. Or failure for, for you might be eight to ten, right? So you may you're just going to do whatever weight you can do and fail, ultimate failure, at eight to ten reps. Okay, so that's, this is based on this. now. The other thing about failure sets or this type of training is uh, long rest periods. You're gonna take a long break, two minutes, two and a half minutes between sets, because this isn't about time under tension. It's not about pump. This is about strength. We're trying to really maximize how much strength we can get out of that final set and how much we can push out of that final set. So we're not worried about keeping our pump or hurrying up and doing like 45 second rest periods. We're taking our time, letting our body recover fully recovered two minutes two and a half minutes and get back at it and then you're gonna, you're gonna hit once you get this set then you're gonna move on okay now you may go from failure you may you may do and up with all of these it's kind of the same thing you may do more than one set of warm-ups right you may do you know what it says two feeders here you may do two three four five six feeders before you get to this failure set, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, long rest periods, and then this is also gonna be, in my opinion, best for compound movements. I, I don't really want to go to, if we're talking about strength, if we're talking about doing like five rep stuff, I don't wanna do that for biceps and triceps, okay? But if we're failing at 10, I can do this style for biceps and triceps. But for the most part, people generally do this style of training to build strength so I put it down as a compound movement style of training more so. And the last style, the last, the last type of set is a density set. And this is what Patrick Tour calls a density set, which is you're still doing your you know, pyramid one, two, one, two, three, warm up, working warm up, maybe a feeder. But then you're getting into this last set. This last set is your density set. And what it is, is you're gonna set up five reps. Okay, you're gonna do five reps, six reps, eight reps, whatever you decide, but you're not done here. After you do your five reps, you fail at your five reps, you're gonna take a 20 second rest. Okay, there's a little rest pause right here. You're gonna take a 20 second reps, rest and do another five. Okay, then you're gonna take a 20 second rest here and do another five. Then you're gonna take another 20 second rest here and do another five. So ultimately, you're doing four sets in one is what we call a cluster set. 
And this is what Patrick Tool would call the density of a set. So when people think about building muscle, they think about adding more volume. So they would do one, two, three, four, and hey, if I want to build more muscle, I'm going to go five, six, seven. I might, I might do seven sets for this. But what Patrick says is you're going to build more muscle if you increase the density of a set instead of just adding more sets. Okay, so I've tried all these styles. I've tried all these styles. This is predominantly the one I fall under most. I'm not saying it's the best, it's just the one I'm more, most comfortable with. But I've tried all of these styles. Now, what I've found is a combination of all of them is what works best for me. And I'll explain to you how I do that. When I get to the gym, I want to do pyramid sets. So let's take legs, for example. If I'm training legs, I get to the gym, I don't want to get right into this. Because this is where I'm going to get injured if I'm like really focusing on heavy weight, right? If I'm starting that way. So I don't want to start that way. So when I get to the gym, first thing before anything actually is probably 10 minutes of mobility work. So if I'm doing legs, first thing I'm going to do, 10 minutes, I'm going to ride the bike. Get my legs loose, get everything loose. I might do some dynamic stretching. And then I'm into this, pyramid set. Where do I put that? Leg extensions, leg curls. I'll probably do leg extensions and leg curls first, leg curls first, then leg, then leg extensions. And I'm probably gonna do this style of training. Why? Because I want a lot of reps. And I probably won't fail at six to eight here, I'll probably fail at 10 to 12 because it's legs. But I wanna get all these sets in first and I wanna get all those reps in first to get my body focused on loosening up, blood flowing, all of that stuff before I get into this. Okay, so this is, this is where I start, okay? This is number one. Start there, start with a movement that's a little bit easier, not the one you're trying to break PRs with, right? So if you're doing, if you're doing chest, start on like a machine press, okay? That's what I would call, that's where I would start if I was doing chest. Now, after that, I'm warm, I'm ready to go. I wanna get into heavy weight. I wanna get into PRs, I wanna get into building mass. I wanna really try and push myself. I'm gonna do this stop. Okay, this is my second second exercise. This one, that's number two. This is my second exercise. I'm gonna go on a squat and I'm gonna get under the bar. I'm gonna do one plate, two plate, three plate, four plate. Now, one, two, three, or I might do two and a quarter, three, three and a quarter, four. All the sets before, I'm gonna do probably 10 to 15 on the first one. And then I'm doing three to five, three to five. If I do, I might do on squats, I might do warm up and then feeder, 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 and then this sixth or seventh, the sixth or seventh set might be my failure set. So I'm gonna do, like I said, one plate, warm up, plate and a quarter, feeder, two plates, feeder, th two and a quarter, feeder, three, feeder, three and a quarter, feeder. I get to four, now I'm like, okay, four is my, I'm gonna go all out. I might crank out 16, 17, 18 reps with four plates. If I wanna build more strength, I'm gonna to go to four and a quarter, five plates, which eventually I'll get to. If I, if I don't wanna go there, because it's not worth it for me, whatever. If you're older, you don't wanna get injured, you might want that failure set to be a 15 repper, not a five repper, okay? So that's kind of my thing. But like I said, you're gonna keep going. If you think, if you're doing something, if you wanna build strength and your failure, if your failure set is set at five reps, and you know you're gonna do four plates for 15 reps, don't do the 15 reps. Do four plates for three, move on to four and a quarter, move on to five, or, or you can go up in, in bigger increments if you want, but that's how I set it up, okay? Now, after, set number, after exercise number two, I wanna get into more, I wanna get into more hypertrophy. I wanna get into more building muscle. I wanna get into more less strength and more focusing on pump time under tension. This is it here. Exercise number three, okay? I'm gonna do warm up, working warm up. That's probably gonna be enough for me, okay? Because I'm already, I'm already warm, right? So, I might get on the leg press, right? After squatting, I might get on the leg press. I'll do a 15er, a 12er, right? Just get kind of loose, and then I'll get into this. I'll get into like a, a strip set of some sort where I'm like, you know, because this isn't just, doesn't have to be just a cluster set, it could be a drop set, right? So I might do 10 reps with 12 plates. Then I might wait 20 seconds and do 
either the same thing, or I might drop it to eight, eight plates for another 10. I might drop it to six plates for another 10. I might drop it to four plates for another 10 or 20. This is the density, right? So I'm creating a dense set there at the end for that exercise, okay? From there, I'm gonna finish off my workout. Straight sets. This is number four. Okay, that's my last exercise for quads. I'm gonna go do, I'm gonna go back to leg extensions or I'm gonna do lunges, right? This might be a lunge. I might grab a 60 pound barbell or 80 pound barbell, 10 reps each leg. And I'm gonna do that every time. I won't change the weight. 10, 10, 10, 10, I'll do 40 reps total, four sets, and I'll move on. That's my leg workout, okay? So this is what I found. So all these styles of training, Everybody always has the latest, greatest thing. I have the best style of training. I have the best style of eating. I have the best, you know, carnivore diet, vegan diet, FST7, dog crap, all these different training styles, all these different eating methods. And what I found, honestly, just like when it comes to diet, and I say balanced diets are the greatest, I'm learning that a balanced training style is also the greatest. That's kind of how I build up my workouts. Those are different types of sets, different types of you know, rep ranges and stuff that you can do. I hope that kind of helps you guys. I hope it explains a little bit better about what we've been talking about on the podcast because we've referenced all these things on the podcast and I keep getting emails about them. So hopefully this, guys will help, this will help you guys out. In the meantime, next week is Black Friday. We're going to have deals all week for you guys. So check out Hostile.com. Follow at Hostile Subs on, on Instagram. And stay tuned for more podcasts, guys. Until then... Live hostile, train hard. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.